you've likely heard of leak code if you're preparing for software engineering interviews. The best way to succeed is to practice, which is why this video will give you an easy to follow roadmap so you can jump right in. Here are the concepts I'll be covering in this video. This video will highlight these concepts and provide a step-by-step -step roadmap to follow, and I'll also be providing the best learning resources for each concept. The first thing you need to learn is Big O Notation. Big O Notation is a way to describe the time and space complexity of an algorithm, aka how fast it is and how much memory it requires. This is important to learn because solving a leak code problem isn't just about getting it right, it's about getting the optimal solution. If you want to learn more, check out this video to learn it in 2 minutes, and check out this cheat sheet to find the time and space complexities for each data structure and algorithm. Speaking of data structures, let's take a look at the key ones you need to know and the order you should learn them in. First, you should learn how to work with arrays, which are ordered collections of data. This is the most common type of question on LeetCode, and are used in most other questions you'll encounter. Secondly, you'll learn linked lists, which are similar to arrays in that they are ordered collections of data, but they are stored differently in memory. After this, you'll move on to hash maps, which are also collections of data, but instead of using numerical indices to store data like arrays, you can use custom keys. Next, we have stacks and queues. Stacks are a collection of data that work like a stack of pancakes, where the last one on top is the first one to come off. And queues are a collection of data that work like a shopping line, where the first person in line is the first person to check out. The final two major data structures are trees and graphs. A graph provides a representation of relationships between different elements, like a social network where multiple users are connected. A tree is just a common type of graph in which there are root nodes that have branches off of them, kind of like the file system on your computer. Now that we've touched on the core data structures, I'll also briefly cover the common algorithms that you should know. The three you absolutely have to know are binary search, depth first search, and breadth first search. Binary search is a search algorithm used to find a target value in a sorted array. The array is divided into halves, and the half without the target value is discarded. This process continues until we reach our value. Depth first search and breadth first search, often shortened to DFS and BFS, are tree and graph traversal algorithms. In depth first search, you go all the way down one branch before backtracking to the rest, whereas in breadth first search, you explore every node at the current level before moving down to the next level. There are many other algorithms to know, primarily various different ways of sorting. However, the three that I listed will cover the overwhelming majority of questions, so you should start there. Now that we've covered the primary concepts, here's what you came for. These are the exact set of steps I recommend following to prepare for coding interviews. Firstly, learn big O notation. As stated earlier in the video, check out my two minute video explaining the concept and reference this cheat sheet as a guide. Next, you'll want to get right into practicing. If you want to understand the data structures and algorithms a bit better, I have two videos that cover them a bit more, but the best way to learn is to actually start solving questions. I strongly recommend following this list of 150 questions by Neat Code for your first time learning. There are about six to 12 questions for each topic, and videos explaining how to solve each question if you get stuck. Once you've gone through that list, you'll want to use this website, Grind75, to keep your skills sharp before interviews. Whereas Neat Code has you do the same topic over and over again, which is better for beginners, Grind75 varies the topics, which is called spaced repetition and is better for continued learning. After going through both lists, you'll be more than prepared for interviews and will likely ace most questions given to you. Thanks for watching. Check out the resources in the description and also subscribe while you're down there. Thanks and I'll see you all in the next video.